guess what we're doing tonight? Stuffing ourselves until we see blue dots in front of our eyes? <laughs> no, we're watching the presidential debate on TV. Not me. Oh, Lynn, you're going to be voting in this election. It's important to know what the issues are. Yeah, Lynn, listen to your mother. Why? You don't. She's not my mother. <laughs> Mom, I'm supposed to go down to the mall with Julie. Lizard got a job at the new wiener on a stick place. They're gonna make fun of his hairnet. Brian, stop listening in on my phone calls. I didn't. Alf did. See? You owe Brian an apology. Now stop trying to change the subject. You should stay home and watch the debate. Since when have you been interested in politics? Are you kidding? Back on Melmac, I was a registered Democat. Democat? Yeah. We were a political party and a doo-wop group. Hi. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, honey. Hi, dear. I'm sorry I'm late. I wish you would have called. I did call. Oh, yeah. Willie called, said he'd be a little late. Thank you. Alf, why don't you ever write down my messages? They're hardly quotable. <laughs> well, y'all have a pleasant evening, you hear? Wiener on a stick. Oh, yeah, the grand opening. How did you know about that? Well, that's where I ate. You ate dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, don't worry about fixing dinner for Willie. He'll get something at the mall. <laughs> Thank you again. Why did he stop off at the mall? He didn't say. Buy shoes. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Hey, the bait's starting. Good evening. Tonight, the candidates face the issues and me. I'm John McLaughlin. On my right, Gil Hassenpfeffer, senator from Wyoming. On my left, Nathan Peel, congressman from Oregon. Let's go. Hey, I could see Hassenpfeffer's pale white shins. I never realized how unappealing the human leg can be. You're in the Oval Office, the red phone rings. Soviet missiles are heading toward 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Do you push the button? Can I vote for the acerbic guy in the middle? Well, in answer to your question, uh, as Joe Biden once said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. And by arming ourselves against the impossible, we are preventing the unthinkable from becoming the inevitable. Double talk. Preventing war is easy. Just tell the people who are mad at each other to kiss and make up. <laughs> International politics is very complex. The Soviets want peace and so do we, but we are separated by history, ideology, economic philosophy. You sound just like those windbags. Oh, no, I don't. The Soviets want peace, and so do we, but we're separated by history, ideology, economic philosophy. Whoa! Kate, maybe you should become president. <laughs> Are you decent? Would it matter? Not to me. Where's Kate? Oh, there you are. You know, with that light behind you, I could see your silhouette. You look... Ow. What? I was going to say you look like an angel. Thank you. A naked angel. What do you want? I keep thinking about the debate. I notice those politicians never give simple answers. Well, that's because the issues are so complicated. Well, I think the voters would like answers they could understand. Oh, like your answer to unemployment? Hire the jobless to give you piggyback rides? <laughs> oh, if I can restore a man's dignity by climbing on his back, I say go for it. Alf, you, you can't understand our democratic process because you're not looking at, at the big picture. You mean the big picture over the piano? <laughs> no, by big picture, I mean... Because I can't look at that if I stand on the piano. 
big picture means it's all right. It's a Willie. figure of speech. No, no, no. It, if Alf wants to look at the big picture over the piano, let him. I am going to go to bed. Thank you, Kate. Just don't get any fur between the keys. All right. But don't lock your door. I may have some more political questions for you.